What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? Um, I'm having a special thing for you today, guys. Uh, it's a TDP um, converter. So what you can do here, you can actually change your TDP from 5 watts up to 30 watts. So uh, I'm going to show you this, uh, and I'm going to put a link below where you can go and download this uh, with the GDB Win 3, and you can adjust the watts uh, based on uh, whatever you have. So all you have to do is just allow this command and you're gonna get this um, as you can see this dashboard here so what you can see here uh, the lowest light use here 5 watts so you can start from 5 watts basically this is not for gaming this is for like for example uh, content watching content on YouTube uh, watching content on Netflix doing some other stuff very very easy um, on the battery so 5 watts is gonna be the maximum consumption from the battery really really great for uh, longer longer uh, better life in other case, we have for 7 watts here. They say media, but you can actually play media on uh, 5 watts. But 7 watts, it's good enough. Uh, maybe if you can, uh, through some PlayStation 1 games, you can play it on 7 watts or 8 watts even. So that is very, very uh, easy for you uh, to even have a longer, better life. So just put the limits there. Um, now you can go up to 30 watts here, and it's going to blow all the heat and... Uh, um, in the in the uh, I mean the top here because it's gonna go up to uh, temperature is gonna go up to 80s sometimes uh, I've tested that with the PlayStation 3 emulator but I just want to show you uh, for an example so we have 10 9 8 7 watts so I'm gonna put it on um, let's just say media 9 10 10 is perfect for like for example PlayStation uh, 3 light games so different than the game, of course, if you're PlayStation 3, if you're going to play, for example, Demon Souls um, on PlayStation 3, you have to maybe get it for up to 20 to 25. Uh, that would maybe that would be very optimum. But for, uh, for example, Resident Evil 3, which is I have here, I have Resident Evil 3, uh, which is going to drop a video after this showing the gameplay, you can just hit it with some nice watts. So I'm going to show you, for example, here, I'm going to open the keyboard. So after I open the keyboard, I have to choose, like, for example, um, let's just say I'm going to put it on uh, 5 watts, okay? Let's put it on 5 watts. So to, in order to put it on 5 watts, you have to click on number 2. And where is number 2? Here. So it's already on this page. Click 2. You hear that? Once you hear this, that means it's already adjusted to 5 watts. And now you can just, uh, you know, um, navigate your uh, handheld with the 5 watts, which is... Uh, really nice actually so you cannot play games and I will show you an example so this is Resident Evil let me just give it a full screen first and let's let us adjust to seven twenty P and let's just go save custom configuration once we do that um, we're gonna start the game now here's the thing guys um, 5 watts is not gonna play any PlayStation 3 games um, it might just play something maybe like a card game or board game anything like very very light 2D games but it's not gonna play 3D games anyways uh, I even doubt this is gonna play uh, PlayStation 2 games even uh, so in that matter I advise you to not put it on 5 watts unless you just want to go for probably try some retro gaming or stuff like that. It, it will be okay. Uh, but just playing like PlayStation 2 or 3 or even Dolphin is not going to be a nice experience. I would advise you if you want to like for example have a you know good better life maybe 10 watts <clears throat> would be good. Um, we're going to test that. After this video I'm going to drop another video of, on Resident Evil um, 3 this one uh, on different uh, TDB so let's just go Capcom okay here you can see you can even see how slow it is just navigating even the cutscene will be like un unwatchable so that's a 5 watts on PlayStation 3, Resident Evil 0, which is relatively low-powered game. Um, 
definitely it's not gonna be uh, playable you can see the delay and uh, low frames so it's not gonna be good but yeah this is uh, just to show you guys uh, the TDP situation have to do the TDP um, I will actually put the link down below if you if you're interested and also I'm going to and do another video on Resident Evil Zero how actually different uh, type of DTP or Watts configuration uh, can affect the game. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video.